Hi, my name is Wendy and today I want to show you the Tibetan Five Rites. Uh, I'll show you the rites first, I'll just do five of each and then at the end I'll explain to you a bit what they're all about. But it's a great, fast, complete body stretch workout. So the first one's very simple, arms out to the side and you spin clockwise. One, and come back to some point so you don't get dizzy like dancers do. Two, three, four, five. Now, you go down to the floor for the second one, or a yoga mat, a carpeted floor, something like that, and you lie down, and the whole idea, just watch me, and you'll understand. If you need some more support for your back, instead of having your hands just at the side, you can sort of put them under you like this for support for your lower back, and you breathe in, and then you breathe out. Bring your head up to your chest and your legs straight up in the air. One, breathe out, breathe in, two, breathe out, three, breathe in, four, are gonna feel that here. It is fabulous for this area, all right? So, the third one is, you put your feet like this, your toes under, curl your toes under, and you hold just here, brace yourself here. Now, you don't want to bend your back. Basically, this is up here. So, you breathe in, Breathe in and breathe out. You're supporting yourself on the back of your legs. Breathe in, two, and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. That's the third one. So, bending here, don't go like that on your back. You don't have to, it's just the top, okay? Okay, so now, that was the first three. Now, the fourth one, you sit like this. Put your hands here beside you. Now, I'll go like this so you can see me better. Okay, so breathe in. And out. And these are like yoga exercises. And just do them slowly and you're just gonna find you're stretching every area of your body. The last one is a combination of the downward dog and the uh, cobra in yoga. So you get about shoulder width apart, your feet at all times. And you're gonna, you know, you're gonna, um, you might start like this just because it's a stretch. And as time goes on, you wanna be able to keep putting your feet back as far as you can because it's an amazing stretch for this whole area. So, first one is breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, two, breathe out. Breathe in. Those are the Tibetan Five Rites. It was interesting, I saw that uh, Dr. Oz recommends these, and I guess he does them every day. A uh, short story about what happened to me was, I learned these over 35 years ago from my first uh, uh, cooking food teacher, my first macrobody teacher, plant-based teacher. And uh, then another friend uh, showed them to me too, who uh, has got the, uh, travels the world talking about being vegan. And uh, 
I have been doing them on and off, on and off. But you know, looking after Brie and everything and life. So then about two months ago, I decided, because I'm trying to remake a daily program that works for me, uh, that I can do and still work 40 hours a week and care for my two dogs and um, write and do all this other stuff. So um, I decided I hadn't done the Tibetan Five Rites in several years. So I decided, oh, I'm gonna do the Tibetan Five Rites. Well, you know, I was pretty much very athletic when I was younger. I downhill skied, I cross country skied, a snowshoe, I was a runner, I ran a marathon. So, you know, I could always leave the Tibetan Five Rites for even years and come back and I could do the 21, because the whole point is doing 21 of each movement. I could always come back, <clears throat> just do it like that. Ha, this time, that didn't happen. <laughs> So that really got my attention. And um, so I started doing them and I could do half of them, you know, and then the next uh, couple of days I could feel it. You know? So now I've worked up to the 21. And uh, that was what told me, you do not stop this now for the rest of your life. It's easy, don't do them too fast because you really wanna get that stretch, but it's, a great thing to do it in the morning. I do it, I get out of bed, uh, you know, I do it in my pajamas and I just get it done and then I've set myself up for the day. So uh, check it out. Uh, you can go on uh, Amazon and uh, my copy of this book was, is like 35 years old. It's the Fountain of Youth, but there's one called uh, The Tibetan Five Rites. I'd go get that one. You know, doesn't matter. There's several choices on Amazon, but I noticed that one. So try it out. It really is worth it. And I'll tell you another thing is that as I started out at six and I was building up, some people do add one a day. You can do, I added a couple a week until I built up to the 21. Whatever you can do, start wherever you are. If you can barely do them, please don't give up because I'm telling you, as you do them every day, every day, you get stronger, they become easier. And that is, and it's known as um, anti-aging. Okay, so thank you so much, and please try it out.